What's up, bro? This is Jose Omar. The real. Uh, just waking up. Just meditating. It's the Sabbath. And um, we're in between zones. You know, that sleep and that conscious awareness during the nothing stage, you know. And um, wrestling with my subconscious and my conscience. Not wrestling, per se. Not real wrestling. But just, you know, communicating, you know, just exploring the minis and the mind, you know. And, uh, It came to me as a programming, you know. It's like this, uh, Hebrew America. Programming. Like dogs, like that's why I call those dogs and bitches as well. And you two women, you know. Same, same boat, same captains, same muddy waters it floats on. That when I was a child, it was the children before me that got uh, programmed. And children before them was programmed. Then you say like this, every hundred years, there's a new program in place, or replaced, or upgraded. And every 25 years is maintenance, and every 10 years they change the language to guarantee that this machine works. So, so Father, what's this have to do with something today or whatever? It goes like this: when I was born, I knew nothing, desired nothing. And nothing was beautiful. It still is at this age. Nothing is beautiful. It's perfect. And so in my nothingness, whoever was the slave master, uh, the slave breaker, the slave maker, the slave trader, and plus the one who bought the, the slave, there was a lot of processes going on to get a human being to this state where he has no desire to uh, be reprogrammed by his maker called resurrection or new birth, reborn uh, a new religion, a new leaf uh, a new year you know, it's all from the creator called anew you know, he makes things all, he makes all things anew and so the Creator knew who was coming. When He makes things all anew, He's starting with the mind. He's starting with the energy. So from the mind of the nothingness becomes something. And so we get to build over all this raggedy stuff that the pagans or the demons or the disagreeables or the false the luminous or the false ideas of this world is going to go away because this world was built with good uh, good programming like um, certain TV programs before they became violent like cartoons like when music before that became violent like hip hop uh, like shooting before they became violent, like pro kids, you know, uh, uh, Chuckies, you know, Chuck Taylors rather, called All Stars, you know, uh, like when Dr. J used to play basketball, it was okay to hoop, you know, opposed to now everybody want to be like Dwayne Wade and LeBron James and Kobe Bryant, all these young reprogram, uh. Minds that are dead. You say, well, that's kind of cold, man, call these professionals, quote-unquote, uh, deadheads, whatever. 
But when you really get down to the programming of it, that here I'm in Pennsylvania, like California and Texas and Detroit and Maine and Wisconsin and Washington, that the slave programmer, the slave maker, the slave trader, the slave buyer, they're still building their empire to this very day. And what makes it so bad, the pig used to didn't have a gold, gold ring in its nose. And so now the pig has a gold ring in its nose, it wants more gold. That's crazy when the pig desires gold. And a dog, he's become a prince. And that's crazy how you put a dog in power over the master's house. You know, whether the master knows or not, knows it or not, you know. The dog is taking over the house, more or less. But it's cool because the dog will protect the create the master, the slave master's property because all he wants you to do is just feed him and he'll just bite everything around him except for who taught him how to just eat from one particular source but bite every other source, even the one that's feeding him i.e. black America, Afro-American, African Americans, black America, uh, 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 coons, niggas, even my, or some of our European friends or family members, you know, who've been called white trash and things of that nature. And some, some Koreans and, and Filipinos who are considered as Asian trash. You know, some people over in, in Middle East, you know, you know, why is it, you know, these words and terminology have been used to down trial the creator's uh, creation. Who are we? You know, we got to think about that, man. And so we say this to you, uh, Hebrew America, the new heavens and the new earth is coming. You have to change your language. You have to pick up your ideas, Hebrew America, because Hebrew means star dust. You know, the Ed Bird, I'll praise you to Yahallah, I have you No stardust, the, the Ed Bird for it is star, star, uh, wandering stardust. So even the orbit the stars in the universe wander. You know, even the universe wanders throughout the galaxies. You know, supernovas and black holes, they wander through space. And so our minds wander through the space of consciousness so we can be able to, to build and manifest, manifest things that are healthier than what they were yesterday or healthier than what they were last year. But for today, today is the rest of of our life today, America. This is the first day. You know, in sovereignty, integrity, and peace, compassion, a kind word, creating new words that are healthy, creating new uh, intellectual uh, 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 um, programs that will boost and e and help us to evolve into to a higher consciousness and, and, and more sustainable in our, in our subconscious. A lot of the scientists know that. Until next time, this is Hosea. And I want to share that with you. You know, to free yourself, uh, Hebrew America. We love you. Shalom Aleikum. Aleikum Shalom. Peace. One country. See? Thirteen. Done. Peace. Oh, and to our veterans, thank you. All of our veterans, everybody who fight for uh, America, we thank you. We love you. Peace. Down.